and all evil speakings. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby, if so be that you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. To whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious, ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. I'd like to go one more place to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 20. And verse 5. And the officers shall speak unto the people, saying, What man is there that hath built a new house, and hath not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house lest he die in the battle and another man dedicated. Amen. Much is said in the, in the Word of God about this spiritual building that we inhabit. Uh, the Bible tells us in Proverbs that will, wisdom hath built this house. And Ecclesiastes 10 and 18 says that idleness droppeth it down. Will Jesus give us the parable of the wise man who built this house upon a rock and the storms came, and the winds blew against it, and the rain beat against it, and the house stood. And he also went on to tell about the foolish man that built his house upon the sand, and the same storm came, and great was the fall of it. We, we, read in the, we read about the wise woman who buildeth her house, and the foolish woman who teareth it down. And as I got to looking at that spiritual house, Brother Sparks, and the building of that spiritual house, and what it takes to maintain that spiritual house, and what it takes to have that spiritual house, I got to notice that in the book of Deuteronomy, it appears to me as if they were calling the mighty men to battle. It, it appears to me that they were preparing the folks to go out to a warfare that was upon them. Evidently, an enemy had already appeared on the horizon. Evidently, there was already problems headed their way. But the officers come and say, if there is a man that has something undone in this house that he has built, let him first take care of that before he steps out into battle. Before he goes out into a battle, he can't have something back here that should have been done. I'd like to preach tonight for just a little while if the Lord will help me. Oh, you can't have the battle if you don't have the basics. Right. Amen. Amen. And I know that we hear a lot in this hour about a spiritual warfare and a spiritual battle. Amen. But I feel like some of the greatest shortcomings and some of the greatest problems that I've seen, Brother Raymond, is when somebody goes into that battle and it's usually not the battle that is the problem. It's usually not what they're facing there that's the problem. It's something undone back here that is the problem. Amen. They just did not get things finished in building up that spiritual tabernacle. They just did not get things dedicated the way things ought to have been dedicated. They just did not get things finished the way things should have been finished. And it showed up when they went down into the battle. 
That's why the man said in the book of Deuteronomy that before you go to battle, we've got to get things fixed back here. We've got to get things dedicated back here before you get out there. Right. Right. Amen. 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 And as we end this one and start into a new year, brother, I'd sure like to get some spiritual things dedicated tonight. I'd like to get this spiritual tabernacle built up to the place I don't know what we're facing right down the road. It doesn't look to me like things are getting monumentally greater and better as we go. I, I was listening to the radio the other day when the news came on about the four little Muslim or little Islam little girls from that part of the country. Amen. Who they brought the boy. I, the way I understood they were teenage girls. And they asked him to deny the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The first one said no. They beheaded her. The second one looked at him and said no. And the third one and the fourth one also. And I thought, hey, man, how much their building had been finished before they got there. How much dedication had to be there when you saw that first little child and their head go lopping off. And that dedication that said it doesn't matter what you do unto me. I will not deny the Lord. I will not turn my back on Him. And I feel like tonight, saints of God, that we're going to face things down the road. And I really don't think that it will overwhelm us if we've dedicated this spiritual building that we're building up. The Bible says to build up your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. There are some things we've got to get established in ourselves. That's right, Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. He said if you have a man. And he has built a house. And he's just simply not dedicated it. And I read over in the book. I believe it's in the book of Nehemiah. How the dedication was with singing. And the dedication was with shouting. And the dedication was with dancing. And the dedication was with, it, with vows made unto God. But it looks to me like this man has finished his building. But it's just not went to that little extra part, if you will. Every nail's been driven. Every block has been laid. Every shingle's been put on. But there is just something that, can I tell you, you can dot every I and cross every T and still not have it completely finished. You can have it down pat. You can know it from Genesis to Revelation and backwards. You can have the doctrine down just so, so. But if we've not got to the place where we are sold out, mind, body, and spirit under God, then our dedication is lacking. Right, right. Amen. 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 And I'm afraid right there. Amen. We see them going out to battle. It is not a problem with their weaponry, Brother David. Their weaponry is fine. It is not a problem with their energy. Their energy is fine. Their strength is fine. Amen. They have the right backing. They have the right, I believe they have the right goal in mind. But when something is left undedicated, it will show up in the battle. It will show up when you get out there. And I feel like tonight, saints of God, with whatever's coming our way, and, and I believe if every one of us look back on 2014, there was a time in 2014 between right now and last December the 31st, when you could have failed, you could have given up, you could have turned around and went back, you could have threw in the towel, you could have said this one's just overwhelming me and could I ask you tonight what was it that kept you in that hour except that dedication unto God that said I've dedicated my life to this I've dedicated my soul to this I've dedicated my heart to this, I've dedicated my eternity to this and I will not give up Though the battle looks raging, though the night looks dark, though the storm is raging, I will not give up because I have dedicated myself unto God. Amen. 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 I believe if we just started from the back and worked away frontwards, amen, the testimonies, every one of them would say, yes, sir, that storm came. I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. 
But I knew I was dedicated unto God. Amen. And that brought us everyone through. Amen. Whether it was crutches or whatever it's been. Amen. And I thank God for that. And I want to, amen, I'd like to say next year on the same night, I'd like to be able to say, amen, I, I, brother, if you make it through this whole year, if 2015 comes and goes, and you say, my, I've not had one storm or one problem, then you'll be a mighty fortunate individual. Amen. I'd say, though, everybody in here will have a time in the next 365 where things are a bit rougher than that. Amen. But I feel like saying tonight, if we are dedicated to God and sold out to Him and have made our mind up that not only am I going to dot the I's, not only am I going to cross the T's, but I'm going to turn around and I'm going to dedicate every bit of this to God. Amen. Amen. If we don't have that, if we lack in that dedication, amen, what does the rest of it really matter? What does it matter if in the first storm, Brother Sparks, amen, we turn around. The Bible said if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Amen. And I really realize tonight, brother, that it will not be uh, our great intellect. It will not be our great crowds. It will not be our great riches. It will not be our great uh, influence that keeps us. But if we can say tonight before we walk out that door, I am dedicated unto God. Amen. I believe we can stand in the battle. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. And I feel like tonight, amen, Paul the Apostle said, none of these things move me. Amen. He wasn't about to turn around. He wasn't about to give up. He wasn't about to go the other way. Amen. Amen. Because he had a great crowd. Multitudes following him. No. No. Because he had the backing and support of so many. No. Because the Constitution was upholding him. No. 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 He was dedicated unto God. And that dedication said, lay the stripes on my back. I'll preach the gospel anyway. That dedication said, Amen. Stone me, I'll still go on. Let me be shipwrecked tonight and a day, I'll still go on. Let me suffer from the hands of so many adversaries. I'll still go on. And I feel like tonight, I'm going to tell you, saints of God, I've never walked through the doors of Pine Grove that I didn't feel like the Lord is wanting to do more and more and more. And I believe He's going to. Sister Esther, He is not done with the church of the living God. He is not done with us. And I want to make sure tonight, as I head into a new year, that I am dedicated unto God. Amen. Amen. It looks to me like if I'm not dedicated unto God, amen, just stay out of the battle. Just don't even go into the battle. If that dedication is lacking, if that dedication ain't there, just don't get into that battle. Amen. But Brother Ricky, I have seen men, amen, and women that seem like got such a zeal to just go right ahead like the man in the Old Testament who came to uh, Joab, I believe it was, when Absalom fell in the battle and came to Joab and said, allow me to run to David with tidings. And Joab looked at him and said, but son, you have no tidings to take to David, you never saw anything. You were not there. You don't know what went on down there. I know, but let me run anyway. It looks like he was good at one thing. He was a good runner because he overtook the man that had been sent to take the tidings to David and run on past him and got there ahead of him. I'm going to tell you, you can get there ahead of somebody and that may not be the best idea you ever had. Amen. Amen. Hey, you may get to jump on somebody, but it may not be the best move you ever make. Amen. And he gets down there, amen, and says, Amen. I, David, what did you see? I didn't see nothing. I didn't see anything. Come on now, you're preaching. I wasn't there. Uh -huh. I didn't see.
see nothing. Amen. But I heard he's a, somewhat of a man. Amen. And David looks at him and says, stand aside. Just stand aside. Amen. Amen. And let somebody come that does have something to say. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you, friend, it's going to take some dedication to make it. Amen. It's a, the, the race is not always to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, but time and chance happen to all men. And I feel like tonight that what will keep us, what will keep Pine Grove Church, what will keep us through this next year coming, amen, if we can just be dedicated to God, amen, not amen, and thank God for the standards of holiness, thank God for righteousness, thank God for purity, thank God for godliness, Amen. But if all of that is not coupled with a dedication unto God, amen, then it won't amount to anything. I want to be dead. We were, amen. What good would it be to live the life of a, amen, the life of a, of a pure saint and never leave the four walls of your living room? Amen. Amen. I remember a man in a certain part of the country years ago. Amen. His family came to church. He never came. Amen. I made make a conversation with him one night. I asked him, I said, uh, Tell your dad and I didn't come to church tonight. Oh, no. No. We can't ask dad to come. I said, Why not? Dad sits and reads the Bible all day. Dad is deeper than any preacher. I said, you reckon I could come over and talk to him? They said, oh, you better not. Dad would just, Dad knows so much of the Bible. I said, well, maybe he can teach me something. Amen. Amen. I, I, I finally did get to go over and visit Dad. Dad who, Dad who, 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 amen, sat there and read continually. Dad who didn't have time to go to church, didn't have time to go to this family church, didn't have time to do nothing like that. Amen. But he could sit there and read the Bible all day. I walked in the house and, amen, I mean, I found out one thing he couldn't do. Evidently, he couldn't empty an ashtray. Amen. Because when he put one cigarette out, it would knock three out. Come on now. Talk to it. Amen. Evidently, evidently he didn't have much time for that. Amen. But I walked in and the first thing he asked me was some question that had about as much relevance as does the white paint hold the wall up or does the wall hold the white paint up? Come on now. Amen. 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 Well, where, where, where did Lot get his wife? Amen. Amen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Amen. Well, how'd this happen? I said, Amen. I realize right there, Brother Raymond. Amen. Amen. There, there, there are men that, the one man who I believe, he, one preacher, he told him, he said, I've read your Bible through 50 some times. He said, I can quote huge passages of it. He said, I believe everything in your Bible except one thing. He said, I don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. We can. I, I, there, there are people that there are people up in our part of the country that they don't have a car. That they 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 they. I know you say, well, they ride around horse and buggies. Yeah, right. They got someone pulls up my van and loads them all up my van and hauls them around. Hey, man, that's where they. That's how they get around. Hey, man. Hey, man. They don't even have a telephone in their house. No, they come down to your house and borrow yours. Uh -huh. Hey, man. Amen. And if you ask one of them, if you say, are you saved? Are you on your way to heaven? They'll say, nobody can know that. Amen. They're dedicated to a movement. They're dedicated to a cause. They're dedicated to a group. 
that are dedicated to a bunch. They're dedicated to an organization. And before, before we, before we sniff at the Amish and the Mennonites, how many right in our own ranks are more dedicated to a fellowship or dedicated to an organization or dedicated to a group or dedicated to a bunch or dedicated to this one or dedicated to that one? One man even had, one man said, I don't care what, I don't care what the Bible says. I don't want my groups out. I'll tell you something, saints of God. I want to be dedicated to God. I want to be sold out to God. Amen. 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 It'll send you places you never thought you'd go. Amen. If you're dedicated to God. Amen. It'll put you worshiping God when nobody else is. If you're dedicated to Him. It'll put your hands lifted up when nobody else is. Amen. It won't take everybody in it won't take everybody in Estill County shouting for you to shout to. Amen. It won't take a five hundred man crowd for you to say amen when you're sold out and dedicated unto God. When you're dedicated unto God, you realize I worship him because of who he is. He is still the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I wish we'd praise Him here tonight. I really do. Amen. I wish we could just lift a hand and, and worship this great God that we serve. Amen. 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 Dedication is more than being there. Amen. Sunday, Saturday, and midweek. Dedication is, amen. Dedication ain't something, Brother Brad. Amen. Flips on at 7 o'clock on Wednesday and turns back off till 7 o'clock on Saturday. Dedication's not something that happens when the preacher knocks on the door or dials your telephone. Dedication's when nobody else is there. Somebody said it like this one time. Character is what you are when nobody else is watching. That's exactly what you are. And your dedication to God cannot be judged by how you do in the walls of the house of God. But your dedication to God must be judged on how you do when you're outside of the house of God. When nobody else is around. Are you still God's man? Are you still God's woman? Are you still God's child? Are you still Pentecostal? Are you still holy enough? This house dedicated, go home. Go home, get that took care of before you go into battle. Go back home, take care of that dedication part, then come and fight the battle. Amen. Amen. Well, I think we're about the battle, and then go take care of that. Amen. Then you like the man who uh, Jesus said, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there you remember that thy brother hath fought against thee, leave thy gift at the altar. And go and be reconciled unto thy brother. Then come and offer thy gift unto God. Amen. Amen. Well, they're going to sue me law. They're going to take away my coat. Give your cloak also. Amen. Well, they compel me to walk them out. Go to. Amen. Amen. But you see, dedication don't end at the garden gate. Dedication don't end. When the sweat becomes, as it were, great drops of blood falling from you. The dedication don't end in Pilate's judgment hall. The dedication don't end with the whip across your back. The dedication don't end with a fist on your face. The dedication don't end with the spit in your eyes. The dedication don't end with the crown of thorns. The dedication don't end with the nails in your hands. The dedication don't end when they lift you up between heaven and earth and mock you and ridicule you. The dedication doesn't end there. If it does, you're not dedicated. Amen. And the writer of the book of Deuteronomy said, Go home. Go home and dedicate this house. Go home and get the house dedicated. And then come. Then you can fight the battle. Amen. Amen. If you're not, the, dead, the lack of dedication will show up in the battle. Right, right, right. Amen. 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 
Amen. We'll give up. We'll throw in the towel. We'll say it just ain't worth it no more. Amen. Amen. I, I, brother, brother Sparks was, we was, was weary. Amen. When the call came from down in Alabama just a few weeks ago, and the brother said, can you come now? Can you come real quick? Amen. Amen. I, I really had a whole, it was up close to the holidays. We were enjoying the family, enjoying the new grandbaby, enjoying all those things. And y'all know how that is. Amen. But, but dedication said, I've got to go. Amen. Ded dedication said, I, I said, I'll be there. So we went on down and glad we did. Amen. Can, can I tell you, dedication is not always convenient. Right. Dedication's not always pleasurable. Dedication does not always pat you on the back and lift you up above the trial. Sometimes dedication, amen, does, sometimes dedication doesn't always keep you out of the storm, son. Sometimes dedication takes you right through the middle of it. Right. Amen. 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 He said, I, I, I planned on doing this and I planned on doing that and I planned on doing something else. Amen. But all, all of a sudden, dedication says, have you got about two or three hours to pray for me? Amen. 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 We, we had, I, I had four back-to-back Messages and calls today. Uh, one of the calls was from a grandmother whose little granddaughter was begging her grandma not to make her go back and stay with her daddy and listen to the cussing and screaming and ranting and raving and fighting that goes on when she has to go stay with daddy. Hey Amen. Hey Amen. She said, will you please pray for my grandbaby? And as soon as that one, another an elderly sister who, who's having a, a congestive heart failure, 92-year-old Indian woman that prayed for my grandbaby when things wasn't looking good for it. Another one was an old sister, old, another old Indian sister who's got a, a, an infection in her leg that's just... Uh, just about look like I'm going to take her leg. Another one, it's just, it just seemed like the, the enemy's raging. Sister Pauline has looked at all that. Amen. I said, Lord, help my dedication to where you, you were right. Where are the prayer warriors? He did not say, wake up the weaklings and wake up the, wake up the, amen, wake up the ones that can't do nothing. He said, wake them up. Where are their prayer warriors at? Amen. Amen. Prayer warriors, get back. Dedicate that house. And then get back out on the battlefield. Woo. Oh. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost, have your way here right now. Amen. Where are them mighty men? Amen. Why, amen. He wasn't talking about a man, amen, that had slapped two boards together and said, This is home. This was a man that had built right. He had built something, amen. He had built it the way it was supposed to be built. This wasn't something cobbled together. This wasn't something just haphazardly slung together at a moment's notice. This was a house built right, amen. Built on the right foundation, built out of the right material. But the dedication's not there. Uh, have you ever seen a well-built building that had no dedication? I have. Amen. Amen. It is a sad thing. Amen. When we see the charismatic movement shouting the shout that the holiness people should have been shouting years ago. Amen. 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 So I, amen. I asked the Lord today, God, what would you have? Amen. For 14 leaving and 15 coming in. I didn't know you was going to say that. Amen. About the mighty men waking up. Amen. 
but I feel like telling some mighty prayer warriors tonight and some dedicated people of God, amen, you you went to great lengths to build the way you built, amen, you, you young ladies and young <coughs> men ha have really availed to really build the way you ought to build, hey, I believe you are a careful young man, I believe you are, son, I believe you are a very careful young man in the way you conduct yourself, Amen. Little, little sister, I've watched you sitches like that, and you've always been careful about how you conduct yourself. Amen. I appreciate that. You built right. Amen. Amen. I don't believe you need to go in there. Amen. And kick some boards off and nail them back up. But I do believe tonight that we may have to dedicate some things over. I'd like to start tonight. Amen. Since we're leaving 14 and heading into 15, I'd like to start out 2015 by dedicating this house. This house built not by hand, but built by God. Amen. This spiritual dwelling. Amen. I'd like to dedicate it to God tonight. Amen. Amen. I have, I have sat there, Sister Debbie, and watched them. I have watched. Please don't fall out with me here. But I have watched moms and dads bring babies into church to dedicate them to God when they had no intention of ever coming back to the house of God. Come on now. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk to us. Amen. Right. I have watched as, and 